Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and this is the lovely Julia. And we're still having a look round at Bindon. All Saints Church. And we're Saints. at All Saints Church, aren't we? We've, if, in a previous video, we've spoken to Alex, the vicar here, but we're going aloft. No, not up to heaven, at least not yet. We're going to meet um, now, he did tell me the title. He's going to have to tell me again because you know what I'm like, completely forgot. But this is Brian Bennywith. Hello, Brian. Hello there. I know you're a bell ringer. I am a bell ringer and also it's my job to keep the clock t on time and, and working. Oh, fantastic. And have you got the right time? Uh, yes, I have. I always keep a very good time on my arm as well so I can check it when I'm up there. Superb. We're very excited because you're going to take us up the tower to have a look at the bell chamber. Okay, bell ringing room first. The bell yeah, ringing room. the sallies are, and then we'll move on up to the clock room. And then Which up is above the... it. And the, the next chamber is where the actual bells are sighted in a big frame. Right. And then the very top one, out on the roof in the sunshine. And see some fantastic views. Oh, beautiful views, yes. Right, well, very excited. After you, sir. Okay, thank We've you very go much. Up a windy staircase. Uh, yes, a very windy staircase with 112 stone steps. Oh, blimey, um, you're feeling fit. <laughs> <laughs> and the only handrail is a rope that comes all the way from the top in a Superb. spiral down the centre centre shaft. I love it. We are to disappear around the corner look, very, very shortly. Hold on to the rope, Julia. Hold it. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm all right. I've, I've done this quite a few times now. <laughs> Right, 56 to the first stage. 56 steps, okay. Yeah. At least it's well lit, this one. I've been oh, up somewhere, yeah. it's almost jet dark. Jet dark, jet black. Well, sometimes you'll see a little alcove carved in the wall before electric lights and oil lamps where they used to put, put a candle or something. So people oh, wow. Their way up here. They're not very, very close together and they're away from where there's a slit to allow daylight in. There are a few on the way up. Right, nearly there. At the first stage. You certainly feel your legs, don't you, as you go yeah, up? Yeah, you do. There we go. And in we go. Wow, it's, and this is a beautifully lit room, which is great from my point of view. And this is our latest peel ball, which has just been completed last Thursday. And uh, it's not been blessed yet, I mean, it has it all going up on the wall. Oh, wow. That's a very um, ornate pale board. Right, and what it's for is to replay. It's a, an exact 100 year anniversary of when the bells were rung in 1917. Oh wow. Um, to commemorate some of the people who, who died in the war and also to celebrate the rehanging of some of the bells. So this is where the bell ringing goes. Above this is the, where the bells are. How many um, bells do you have? There's eight bells, which is very handy because that's a full set for the tonic so far, isn't it? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, oh, ti, right. do. It's and eight bells. Not so far to walk this time. Oh, well, that's handy. It'll be this one then. So the clock, uh, the, you've got the date of the clock, I think, on the front of your tower, oh, haven't you? Or is there's that... a story about that. Oh, thing. right. A very interesting story. Okay. Yes. I see the ropes coming through, as you've yeah, described. They go straight through, and the bells are above here. Right. Okay. Well, this is the clock in a box. Gosh, there you go. <laughs> and the frame was made by a blacksmith. Not much light in here, I'm afraid. But if you feel this, you can feel there's indentations where he's bashed it on this anvil to make this frame. And the nuts are all handmade. You'll find they're not square. Gosh. It's not the same size. You need a banner for everyone. And because it was a blacksmith, they know how to make holes in metal yes. to put in horseshoe nails. Oh, wow. So he makes a big, rough old horseshoe nail hole bashing a, a spike through. And it leaves a, a plain hole. Then he melts brass or bronze into the hole because it's better wearing. Right. And then later on, when the clock man comes up to start building it, he's the one that did the machining to do the spindle, draw, drill out the spindles to the exact place and the exact size. Evan. That's where the, the, sort of the clever bit comes in. Yes. Now, originally this clock ran with a hand winding, and there's a big handle over there that we used to, used to have to wind it for. The weights were extremely heavy and went down the back of the clock here all the way to the floor where we came from down at the very bottom. 
and because the weights were very heavy they only moved something like about a few inches an hour so when it when it, the time they got to the bottom it would be about uh, um, 180 hours 190 hours which is more than a week <laughs> yes and so the uh, every now and again somebody will be um to uh, come up here and wind up both of them this one is for the clock right and this one is for the chime mechanism all this half of the, the case is the chime mechanism which is worked off this side and there's a big handle here if I pull it down and then let go <laughs> it chimes one so the clock does that's that confused the village <laughs> the clock does, well it's not quite one o'clock oh. no <laughs> That they're checking their watches so, 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 <laughs> yeah so that's a, that, that the, the clock obviously does that bounces it up and down and there's a cam on the back there to tell it how many it's got to ring oh amazing <laughs> absolutely amazing i enjoyed that do a few uh, more times no no, 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 no. no. <laughs> the other interesting thing about this is that yeah. this no clock face no not here but so how do you know it's upstairs on oh right now, yes so this this wheel at the back here which is it now yeah, rotates uh, uh, this wheel rotates once every hour right so this goes round at, oh, the, at the speed so that of the minute hand oh right oh, okay. okay and it's on here shows you what minute it should be on ah. so it's 15 past something yes but we don't really know what the hour is no um so i have to make sure of the hour is correct out there yes or listen to the chimes if they're in sequence yes and then make sure that i set it to the right minutes more stairs no, love it minutes. yes Next stop, Belfry. Wow. Mind your heads. Oh, right. <laughs> did you mind. just bang your head? I did, yeah. Oh, and you're an experienced yeah, man. Yeah, it, it gets lower and lower as we go up. Oh, okay. Lower and lower. I'm, I'm so creeping. One, one turn and we're there. Right, okay. Now, this room is very dangerous. So I can't let you in there. Okay. Because the bells are up, as you can see. I can go in there. Well, we may not see too much, but... It's oh, very yeah. dark here. I'll allow you if you want to to just get up on the steps and have a look over the I'll top. Just that. poke my camera. Can you do that? Yeah. It's very. I'm, I'll, I'll hold this bell so it can't possibly fall. Gosh. Let me just see if I get a big. And view. there's the big one in the middle, which is actually down. It has to stay down because the clock won't chime. Oh, oh right. So that's the one for <laughs> the clock. Wow. I have to say this is absolutely amazing. They are big, big big bells and this is the baby one and that's the baby <laughs> one right i'll get down because i don't want to cause any mischief right up we go then can I, you go first do you? people who are doing the welcoming up on the roof for them to sit down ah, it's a right. bit heat, heated up here oh, there we go I'll just lift that out of your way after you julia blinded by the light <clears throat> the dark rooms. <laughs> but we're coming out onto the tower wow and if you take a look down that way to the left is there is the, the high street that's oh yes so there we are we're looking straight down onto the high street beyond and what a view, what a view from yeah. beyond gosh so we're looking south that way yeah look, no, not quite south, not quite no, south. southeast southeast well, oh, okay well, almost, that's east oh that's east so this is sort of almost east oh right oh wow this is i mean this is lovely Lovely to come up here when you want to escape from everybody, I should think, Brian. Well, I usually sometimes come up here when there's a wedding on, because we have to sit in the tower for an hour waiting for the bride to come out. Well, Brian, this is uh, fantastic to come up here on the top of the church tower and have a look and yeah. look at the views. Thank you so much. Something rather else interesting, the, the weather vane some oh, years wow. ago needed some serious attention. And one of the parishioners had a, a, a relative who was in the um, Royal Marines or something, and he came here and lifted it off with a helicopter. Gosh, <laughs> gosh, that's uh, that's precision Before work, isn't time. it? And yes. Then, then when it had been serviced, he put it back on again with the helicopter. Oh wow, <laughs> Julia, what do you think? What do you think, Julia? That was awesome. Wasn't it good? I mean, this this whole whole spectacle one coming thing, up. Though, what? Don't kneel down. That's hot. Is it? <laughs> Is that what you've just done? Yes. Taking pictures. Yes. Good for you. Oh. Uh, the views are amazing. It's stunning. It's absolutely lovely. You don't often get a chance to go up uh, church towers, but some churches, like Biddenden, occasionally lets you do it. So if you get that opportunity, then take it, because you'll never get a view like it. We've loved it, haven't you? Absolutely. I mean, haven't we? We have. <laughs> yes. 
Thank you so much, Brian. That's all right. It's Thank been you. an absolute well, joy. Just go down all the stairs again. Yes. Now. <laughs> yes. Probably quicker going down, I should imagine. Uh, don't go down too fast. And beware, right near the bottom, there's two extra steps which are about six inches bigger than the rest. Right. Oh. So it tends to catch people. It's half my height. Time. There you go. Well, don't there, forget to so join us another off. time uh, when we go out exploring. But thank you for watching on this one. Until then, from Julia and I, goodbye. Ciao for now.